Hello lovely people, you all are once again most, most welcome to your very own channel that is Tutorials Point. Well, English as we've discussed time and again is a language which almost never fails to impress us anytime, any day, right? So here it is, yet another amazing and impressive um, feature or character of English language which is it has certain unique words which have multiple meanings. Well, most of the times we do come across these words, I mean they spell the same, we pronounce them in the similar manner but they have a variety of meanings, right? So I'm sure we do come across these words but usually we do not notice the fact that the same word has so many different meanings. Well then, what are we waiting for? Let us go ahead and explore what are these unique words which have multiple meanings. Bark! Yes, I'm sure we all have heard this word sometime or the other. Well, bark is a word which of course has two different meanings. One is this outer layer of, you know, a tree trunk or something. And the other one is the bark of a dog. So, well, same spelling same pronunciation but then used in two completely completely different um, you know ways or two completely different contexts so well isn't that really really surprising isn't that really amazing to discover the fact that english is full of such fun words well let's go ahead and see what are the other such words nails yes we all love to take care of our nails some of us love to spend time on nail art well of course people including me who just love to take care of our nails so nails of course as we know you know this this extension right um nearing the end of your fingers this part of your hand are called as your nails or your toenails but at the same time, same spelling, same pronunciation, these are also called as nails. So these, um, these could be metal fixtures or something. So they are also called as nails. Well, again, um, definitely we have used this word in our life sometime or the other in our language. But I mean, I'm sure it didn't strike our mind that the same word had two different meanings. And whenever probably we used it we didn't realize it that we are using this same word with the same spelling the same pronunciation but in a completely different sense altogether well of course the list just doesn't just end there so next word is jam well again this word time and again um, we do hear it day in day out jam of course a very important part of our diet sometimes more often than not we love to eat jam for our bread jam for our breakfast or as a snack or maybe in the evening or any time throughout the day so one is this jam which we are all aware of second the meaning of jam is to probably try to fit a bigger piece or a bigger thing in a very very small area which is not meant for it so if you try to stuff a bigger um, thing in in a particular area which doesn't fit its size then definitely you are jamming that particular place so it's that entire room or that entire area would be jammed so when you that also I mean that is a, again a different context of using jam well the third one is traffic jam my god the most dreaded experience if ever we are traveling on the road none of us want to ever experience a traffic jam but yeah again the same word same spelling same pronunciation but used in three different ways so well isn't that really surprising and amazing and believe me this is something which only and only only english can do to you pool yes well i'm sure we have heard this word, we have come across this word and I'm also sure that we have come across both of these, um, you know, meanings of this word. We have, I'm sure most of us have sometime or the other enjoyed, um, you know, swimming in a swimming pool. We would just love to do it. Isn't it so relaxing, so enjoyable? Isn't it really a part of our vacation? Yes, it is. Well, the other pool is yet another entertaining and exciting, fun-filled game, which we also get to play sometime or the other. And well, this pool is i mean we most of us might have played it sometime or the other in our life so 
both of these are actually they are both of them are called as pool both of uh, you know the spellings are again the same the pronunciations are same but completely two different things but referred to them uh, but they are again referred with a similar name with a similar spelling with a similar uh, pronunciation so well well surprising yet again we are surprised okay well last well of course the list of such words is unending but this is the last word uh, in the list that i chose for you which is mine well mine again we definitely have used it sometime or the other in a language i mean we use it day in day out there is no surprise about it but again if you see mine so how is it um, what are the different ways or what are the different areas wherein you can use it so mine if you observe can be used in the form of a possessive um uh, uh you know to 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 sort of to sort of show possession for anything you could call this car is mine or that pen is mine or that house is mine so if you want to show possession that is when you will use mine if you if something that belongs to you or mine or i mean the the second meaning of mine which i am referring to here it could be a coal mine it could be a diamond mine it could be anything right so this entire place that entire area wherein that entire digging happens and you have these big machines which are busy drilling the crust of the earth to find out anything um, you know any ore or mineral that is what is also referred to as mine so well again same meaning same I mean same uh, spelling uh, same pronunciation but different meaning altogether well the third one is this mine which not the best thing to experience or um, I mean none of us should ever get to experience this is this mine which is more or less a bomb right so um, these are the mines which are kept under not exactly underground but slightly they are covered on the top so that any person who walks over it never ever comes to know that there is a bomb right under his or her foot so um, yes this is the third mine which is again used which has a similar spelling the similar pronunciation but a different meaning altogether so well see these are different ways in which you could use this word and again in completely different contexts altogether so well this is what it is this is um I mean, I'm sure it is amazing to learn that same word could be used in so many different ways. And wow, didn't we just uh, sort of get surprised by understanding this? Yes, we did. Well, I'm sure this would have added some or the other, um, uh, you know, value to your existing English knowledge or vocabulary. Well, I will see you again with yet another amazing topic. Uh, till that time, keep learning with tutorials, point and tutorials. Have a good day.